All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the space real quick. So this is the space that we're talking about. If you guys remember, I did a uh, video shoot of this area um, way back in, I think it was December, to be honest. It could be actually November. Um, but this is a 14 by 18 room. The ceiling's kind of sloped up at the top there. And uh, I guess from right to the ground to the this little ledge, I would expect that to be nine feet. And then this looks like it's, you know, another foot and a half, maybe two feet, so 11 feet right there. But uh, the space is pretty coming together pretty nicely. Cameron and, uh, over at Insane AV has been here roughly an hour. He knew the dimensions of this, so a lot of the, 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 rough, the rough cuts were done before the job, so it makes it a lot easier whenever they come out. And again, you're paying for you know their experience whenever they come out and do these jobs. It's not necessarily how long it takes, but, uh, but that, 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 that's coming together very nicely. Let me show you guys the, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the gear over here. So we're starting out with a uh, Marantz 8012. The customer already had an 8012 that he bought uh, previously, and then he wanted to incorporate it into a system. So again, guys, you don't have to buy everything from us. We would appreciate if you did, but if you guys have gear that you need to repurpose, we're happy to, to help out, try to fit it into your system. So what we have here, uh, Marantz 8012, 13 channel processor right there, and this is a 7.2 Correction, that is 11 channel process or 11 channel ABR. This is a 7.2.4 uh, Dolby Atmos Focal 300 series system. So we're using the Focal 300 series in wall sixes LCRs up front with the flax drivers. Man, it's so cool. And then we have for the walls, we have the IW sixes. And then for the ceilings, we have the IC eights. So we're using um, SB3000s for the subwoofers. We're using two of those in the room. We have a couple different ter uh, termination points. We have one back there in the corner, and then we have another one right up here up front. So that's gonna help out with that. Let's see, what else? So the customer decided to go with Wattbox to protect everything. So we have both of those for the subs, and then we have one for the projector. So the projector is right here, JVC RS3000. You guys know I love the JVC RS correction. RS2000. <laughs> you guys know I love the JVC projectors. These things just perform, and you, to be honest, you really can't go wrong with, with any of those, especially with the, 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 the theater optimizer feature that they have in there right now. The customer decided to go with the 140-inch AT screen, so basically these speakers that I was just talking about are going behind the, the screen, so this is built out to help, um, to help optimize that to, to even happen, because you wouldn't necessarily need all this, but right here, there is, this is an exterior wall. It's like a quadruple stud, and there's no way that we could have notched that to, to put the speaker in there right up front to have it left and right. So what we're doing is we're building this box, bringing the screen out so that you have a little bit of room and also a little bit of wiggle room for the actual speaker so that it doesn't interfere with the screen itself and jiggle the screen whenever, you know, the voice happens or the explosion happens up front. So that's the reason for this back box. Usually it's not necessary, but in this particular scenario, that's what we had to work with. So this is a 140 inch Slate 1.2 Zero Edge Pro screen, and it's gonna be right over here. And this was basically used, we, we could have gone bigger based on the throw distance that the customer had, but we decided to go smaller based on uh, you know budget constraints as well as you know the limitations of a 2000. You know you, you can get a great big screen, but you want you you might not have the best experience possible. So we erred on the side of um, erred on the side of caution. Basically, got a 140 inch AT screen because you do lose a little bit of light whenever you do the AT as well. So I think that is roughly it. Showed you guys all the gear, but we have these things in the space. The guys are here rocking and rolling. I'm taking up a little bit too much time because now they're on a break to, uh, <laughs> to complete this job. So I will continue to update you guys as we finish it up. Thanks for watching. Thank you.
So with these 300 series, you just kick out these dog legs. They're spring loaded. And this is the cool part. It's just so easy. You put it into the wall and it just snaps. So you don't, you don't even need any tools to snap these things in there. Do over. See, it's just that easy. Hang on a second. Okay, go ahead. Uh, pull the ammo, try one more time. Okay, let go. Yeah, buddy. Did you got it? Got a little back and forth. Oh, cool. So we got a little extra over here too. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. All right. All right, perfect. Yeah. What? It's good. Okay. We're live. Busting out the cell phone. So we got the projector up there mounted, and then I went ahead and just taped it real quick, you know, just to finish it out real nice. We have an, an accessory Ethernet cable ran up here. All the set screws are in. If you guys don't know what the set screws in, you'll see them front and center right there. So you have four of these on the unit itself just to keep it protected from falling down. Got the Vega HDMI cable right back here. And I went ahead and taped, oh, if I don't fall down, I went ahead and taped his screws or his, uh, his Allen keys that he's gonna need for the mount as well as the set screws right here, right up to the top. So the customer won't ever, won't ever uh, lose them. But this is the view of the room as it stands right now. Man, I'm a little out of breath after lifting, lifting this projector. But uh, we have these in-ceiling speakers to do left. The front's already tapped and ready to go. Now we gotta build uh, the screen and put the speakers in and then uh, it's time to make some noise. So let's keep updating you as we finish it up.
Well, I think we are just about wrapping up here. There's just a few extra things to do. We're gonna finish off the uh, full-on calibration of the system. You guys know that whenever I come out to a space, I like to put my personal touch on it. The last thing to do is to finish off the final calibration, give you guys a quick demo, but I will do a full-on dedicated demo video, you know, a little bit later on. So if you guys wanna check that one out, that one's gonna be a little more in depth than this specific video. This was a long install, right? So <laughs> you're, you're not paying for the time that we're spending at your place. You're paying for the quality of work that's, uh, that's going into it. So this was a long install. We didn't want to end things off before, you know, we would be personally happy having this stuff in our space. So um, that's about it. I'm gonna show you guys the demo, but really appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys want any of this stuff done to your house, this is in the Houston market. We're out in Katy, Texas right now. I have my man right here. Cameron over at Insane AV, he was the lead on this install right here. He's running away from the camera. No, but, if you, <laughs> but if you guys want any of this type of work done at your place and you guys are in the Houston area, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll leave our number right down below on the screen. And uh, if you guys would like anything home theater related, hi-fi related, two channel, home theater, whatever it is, give us a call. We'd be happy to earn your business. But I'm in on this video here. You guys can check out that demo. I'll catch you on the next one. Wait like everybody else, pal. What the hell is that? Obstruction ahead, obstruction ahead. Damn it, all units divert down on the lower fifth. I repeat, exit down. Lower fifth will be like turkeys on Thanksgiving down there.